Well, that's the rack we got. And there's the bike we got. So it's a lightweight. You know I'm solo. This can only mean one thing. We're headed off-road. So stick around. Okay guys, you requested it, so here we go. There's gonna be no music overlay on this. We did film about an hour's worth of footage over an hour and a half long ride. So we're gonna break it into three separate videos and this is gonna be part number one. So hang on, here we go. Well, hello again, internet. Welcome back to the channel. We are out on some new mountain bike trails today. And I thought I would bring you guys with me. So, we're doing things quite a bit differently this time around. In that, we have lightened up the bike quite a lot. I did put the side stand back onto it. Oh, we got some. Some good quick sections there, so. Oh, I think these are gonna be some fun trails, but we're doing things a little differently than we normally do. Uh, I don't have navigation going except for in my pocket. Uh, I do, do not know these trails because I've not been here before. And so that's quite a bit different, but I wanted to get rid of the stuff on the bars here. You'll notice the throttle is gone. It's no longer with us. We disconnected that. Uh, I did hook the side stand back up onto here. That was just a little bit inconvenient, so I'll take that little bit of extra weight. And I cut the motor back to where it tops out at 20 miles per hour, making it not a true class one, but very close to a class one, which is plenty good enough for the places I intend to ride this. And it gives me an, oh man, great sections here. I'll be with you in a minute. So my navigation keeps telling me I'm traveling in the wrong direction because the trails are reversed today. But it's in my pocket and I've just got some voice on because there are several different trails around here. And when I get a chance, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, take a look at that and see if I can reverse the direction on it. There should be a way to do that midstream here. But, yeah, let's get back to where we was there. Cut down to a, close to a true class one. It still peaks at over 750, so it's not actually a class one. But I did want to take a look and see, this gives me more of an opportunity to look at you guys know I've been talking about I'd like to get back to some competition. Uh, more of a bucket list type thing. I talked about doing it on motorcycles. And eh, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure I wouldn't uh, just hit it as hard as I possibly could if I got on the starting line with a motorcycle again. I think I stand a better chance on the starting line with a bicycle because that's something I've never done. And so, you know, I may not have that 
feeling come back of gotta win, gotta win, gotta win, gotta go as hard as you can. At least I'm hoping I got enough sense to do that this time around. Uh, but maybe that's just, maybe that's not really, maybe that's just me trying to capture my youth, not something I really want to do. And so this, turning this into a very close to a class one will let me know that a little bit more. And so that's what I intend to do because if it's not something I'm serious that I want to do the competition, I actually, this bike is plenty good enough to do what I want it to do off the road. Yes, it is hardtail. There's advantages to that though. Uh, uh, and, and if I'm not getting dead serious about it, I can live with a hardtail. And I can live with the 2.35 tires that I'm running on this instead of like a 2.8 2 or something like that. So this is my little test to see. And while we're on this test, we're having a blast. <laughs> so I was actually quite shocked at how much weight I pulled off of this bike that you could actually feel it so much. And you know, that's pretty encouraging to me. This is some really nice trails. Like I said, I've never been here before, so I'm coming into these blind. But uh, I won't be so blind today. And so far what I'm seeing on them, they are worthy of continuing to come here. You know, we're only talking about a 30 minute drive from my house. And I'm kind of shocked that I've never been here before. So what else are we doing differently? You know, I said, well, we're doing things kind of different. We dumped the throttle. We uh, uh, got the back brake disconnected, the cutoff switch for the back brake disconnected. Not crazy about that with a cadence sensor. I would rather that be disconnected with a torque sensor. But that's, that is what it is. Uh, so I had to start the camera back up. I didn't have it plugged into its battery bank. I thought I'll just use some batteries today and that didn't work out too well. It killed off pretty quick. So we got it hooked up correctly this time. Uh, but where was we at there? We are doing things a little bit differently. We got rid of the excess weight on here that we can. We've cut this down to as close as we can get this to a true class one. I guess I can maybe go in to the programming cave or programming of the controller and cut it down even further, cut the peak power down. I've not done that just yet, but it's top speed is down. Uh, uh, what else? We're not using our navigation like we normally do. It's in my pocket and I've got a uh, earbud in that's just picking up voice on it. Of course, it's telling me I'm going the wrong direction because I wasn't sure what direction we was going to be going on. This is a Saturday and we're going this direction. What else? Oh, I'm donning my cycling pants and cycling jersey on this. And we got a new helmet that we'll be showing you once we kind of get it checked out today. This is for my off-roading. This is the helmet that I got. And uh, uh, so yeah, we're doing things quite differently today. I'm looking at the tracks here. This appears to be a relatively popular trail. Quite a bit of tracks on it.
but I have not seen many people out here on it yet. So, all right, let's come on through here. I'll tell you, one thing I would really like to go ahead and do here and maybe I'll end up going it. Like I said, I gotta decide, am I gonna get another, another bike? Because full suspension would be good if I wanted to do this harder and harder. But we'll see about that. If I decide not to, I might have to go ahead and at least invest in a dropper post for this because that's a really big advantage. You know, to be sitting down and getting traction coming up and get that seat out of the way going downhill all right let's see what we can find out further in here these are relatively old trails this is another place where I used to ride horses 25 years ago so I said I've never been here before, well I have, but I would never remember it. The one thing I do remember is on the road coming in here, you have to drive across the creek. And I mean, it's a shallow creek, but that's when I remember, oh yeah, I've been here before. But what a nice, nice, place to ride and I have to tell you I don't miss the throttle a bit <laughs> uh, I like the more barren real estate up here on the handlebars I was even considering switching out to a smaller display maybe a 500 C display for this bike just kind of stealth it down a little bit. Oh, looks like we got a bit of a downhill section coming up here, so let's go ahead and get ready to start hitting it. Should be turning across this creek somewhere here. There we go. Or this ravine. Beginner advanced. Whoop! We want to go this way. Not that I'm that advanced, but that electric will give me a little advantage for the climbs and I do want to see these trails are not quite as smooth as the ones at Williamson Preserve. And so, uh, but this up and down that we have here is really nice. But I may want to dial in my front suspension a little bit better. That would be some good places to catch a little bit of air on the downhill side on those days. Whew. All right, let's hit it.
Now that's a lot of fun. That is a load of fun. I keep hearing I'm off the course, but I did take the advanced course, which was what I had the thing routed for, but I'm not too worried about it because it'll come. Oh, missed them sections. I could have caught some air off of that, but I caught a little bit of, well, that's a service road, not a trail. Service road, not a trail. Okay. So we're still on our trail here. But this will end up taking me in a loop. They have about 13 miles, 13 or 14 miles of trails here. And uh, I think I'm, I'm taking 10 and a half miles, something like that. The other miles, yeah, I seen you squirrel crossing right in front of me. The other miles are gonna be the beginner loop. What do we got here? Beginner and advanced, keep straight. So we're all keeping straight. Oh, I'm back on the tour. Navigation will now continue. Uh, advance this way well guys i think we're going to wrap up part number one right here so until the next one this southern e-biking telling you stay safe god bless and keep the wheels rolling once again we're out